First, there was this uh, Palestinian girl that Pierre Morgan was trying to make her to uh, condemn Hamas for killing, uh, you know, innocent Israelis and Jews. Uh, and then she was refusing. She was going back to the root of the problem. Just a second, let me see who were emphatic immediately. Let me make it clear. What happened on October the 7th was a disgusting terrorist attack, an abomination. And then they go on to talk about the plight of the Palestinian people and maybe the historical conflict and so on. And I have great respect for people that do that. I've got to say, I really struggle with anyone who just cannot have the humanity to start by saying what happened on October the 7th was appalling, an outrage. Do you feel it was? I think... Palestinians are tired of that being the starting point constantly when right now there are 6,000 Palestinians who have been killed in Gaza, over 2,500 of them children, 33 mosques leveled, hospitals leveled. So we're tired of that being the, the main goal of the conversation. It's not the main goal. Part of it. It's the starting but point of this war. Yeah, but hang on. It's the starting point of this war. Outside it's not the, the main goal of what I want the conversation to be. The starting point was when 750,000 Palestinians were ethnically cleansed, were expelled from their homes. Homelands uh, during the Nakba, which my grandparents, Nekba. which my grandparents mm. uh, fled Palestine because of the Nakba, because of the massacres and the rapes that they heard. So to me, that's the starting point. That's my experience. Let's go with that for a minute. Let's start with the Nakba. All right. Now uh, you see that here they try anyway. They try to get this uh, girl to say uh, condemn Hamas, and she all the time goes to the roof. That was terrible. I don't see you asking Regev if he condemned the slaughter of innocent civilians. She can't do it, can you? No, she can't because she's the same woman who said every Zionist before they die should hear pop, pop before they die. So she probably agrees with the massacre. So why would she condemn them? I think we're the media is part of manufacturing consent. We're talking about you. I'm speaking here and I don't, I'm not interested in speaking to Jim. All right, now uh, I would like to share uh, something from Pierre Morgan uh, that he also did the same. Thing. The evidence they've been um, unveiling for what they said was a, a terror hub, including showing CDs and a computer. What they've done to that hospital is firstly, because they cut off energy in a total siege, which mm. they justified by saying they were fighting human animals, which should be considered genocidal rhetoric has been condemned as well, such. Well, it as should certainly be condemned and they should not have the ability, uh, Israel, to cut off yep. water Thank and you. power. With, and because fuel. it's, a, it's a, fuel, a, it's a, fuel, that is collective punishment. The, well, just fuel, agree, just yeah, agree, can we agree? A, under Article Thirty Three, that's against the law. It's a war crime. Can I, we agree? I, I think would, we should have some consensus. I would, I would, I would argue you're heading towards collective punishment when you do that. You're not be, heading towards collective punishment well, when you cut off energy and water except, to the entire civilian population. Except to play devil's advocate and to give their side of it, which I've heard repeatedly. Take the issue of fuel. They want to try and get fuel in the Israelis, as they've said to the hospitals, to the humanitarian side of this, but they know that Hamas are taking that fuel and using it for their military. The, the hospital authorities, who should listen to you, have reported those accusations. But what we've, what's happened here is babies right now mm. are gasping for breath yes. and suffocating. Mm. We've had several nurses and patients shot dead. In fact, this whole hospital it's has hard. been described by medical staff as a mortuary. But you don't know. But just oh, quickly, oh, oh, when a hospital, on. just quickly, when yeah. a hospital becomes a mass grave, yeah. when dozens of decomposing bodies mm. have to be buried in a mass grave in a hospital, we're talking, what you said, can I just quote something you said about, sure. about Putin? And, and I think this was very wise. You said in March 2022, I'm seeing a genocidal monster killing women and babies in maternity hospitals as we sit back and let them do it. Why was it so disgraceful? But you were right. You were right to well, be Well, here's the difference. Why, why, me, why when you see this hospital, is there not the same fury? Let me uh, you see now, exactly here, he's going to be the same like that uh, Palestinian girl. He's going to be Hippocrates. Uh, because the two are, in my opinion, morally very different. In one case, Vladimir Putin's illegal invasion of Ukraine. He was committing war crimes, having illegally invaded the... So oh, wait a second, let me finish. Having invaded a sovereign democratic country. Here, it was Israel that was invaded by a v vast number of terrorists who uh, murdered over 1,500 innocent men, women, children. They kidnapped 240 people, including babies, children, yeah, Holocaust yes. survivors. So my point is, Morally, there is a massive difference. Hold on, hold on. Morally, it's a massive difference. Now, the question of the hospital, wait a sec, 
The question of the hospitals is this to me. They have so far produced some evidence. All right. Now, uh, uh, it's enough because he's trying to uh, justify it morally. Uh, <clears throat> our glass, yeah. He's trying to justify it morally, which is absolutely, uh, you know, ridiculous because you cannot justify killing of babies, you know, innocent people yes. at all. It is a war crime. This is not about what you believe, what you think. Uh, according to international laws, it is a war crime. According to Islamic laws, it is a, you know, uh, disgrace, it's war crime, corruption in the land. So <clears throat> doesn't matter. You cannot say that because they did this, now yes. it is justified for Israel to do this. This is absolutely not, you know, uh, justifiable. 